haul I went to Dee Dee's yesterday and I just wanted to browse around and see what the difference was between Ross and TJ Maxx and it is a lot cheaper um, I purchased some items and I just wanted to share with you guys what I purchased um, I tried to find things that were on sale I purchased this um, cereal dispenser at Ross I think at Walmart and at Ross and all of the other places they're probably like ten dollars but this one was $3.49, $3.50, you can't beat that. So that was a win for me. And with a toddler, I go through cereal a lot. So that's really good. I have a few of them, but I've never purchased $3.50 for one. <laughs> and I also got this, um, this little guacamole um, container with a lid, which I thought was very reasonable also. This was $4.49, $4.50. And it can hold a lot of guac. They had bigger ones, but I chose this one because I'm just a family of three. So there's no way that we're gonna eat a whole bowl of guac this big. And I really like this. They had really cute um, pots and pans, but I have a lot of pots and pan. I purchased them when I first moved. So there's no need for me to buy new pots and pan, but if I was in a market, I would go there. It's kind of like a home good but with um, more discounted um, items. Not more so of the name brand Pots and Pan, but they look very durable to me. Um, I went to the kids section. I'm gonna put some clips on all the areas that I went. They had like shoes. Okay, so I like to buy my son Vans and they're re very reasonably priced for me. Um, they're probably like in the range from $30, $25 for Vans. They had a um, replica of Vans, replica of Vans, and they were selling for about $7.99. And I want to get my son some, but he has a lot of shoes. And yeah, I'm going to go back there. When he's through um, this stage, he's in three T's right now, in between um, three T's, four T's. So a lot of the clothes that I purchased don't fit him yet, but I know he's going to um, grow out of those shoes pretty soon. And why should I spend... 20 30 bucks going to buy vans when i can go over there and buy the 7.99 replicas and they look just the same they look just the same like it's crazy but i did go ahead i was looking for swimming trunks because it's summertime and i try to match him with his dad they didn't have um matching pairs so i didn't buy the swimming trunks but they had a lot of swimming trunks they had a lot of different varieties of patterns and clothes um, for kids but the three t's and two t's as you can see in the clip they didn't have much of a variety in his for his um size so but they did have shoes i will go back for the shoes when he outgrows these i don't want to buy shoes and have them sitting here like right now i have a lot of 4t clothes sitting around and he doesn't fit them when i sent him to daycare one time she was like adrian pants was falling off and i was like oh man but um yeah but the pants have the little um little things the elastic all the toddler clothes have those but i i find it you know sometimes they don't know and then i rather have him in clothes that fit him instead of clothes that don't fit him so i'll just wait and buy the shoes later on but i did go ahead and purchase these levi's and they're the 511s and look how much these pants were oh my goodness right <laughs> yeah perfect and his dad went over the weekend to Polo and bought him some pair of um, um, Ralph Lauren pants for like 50 bucks. And I was thinking like, 
I could have got like five pair of jeans. Although they didn't have, like I said, they, my t my DDs didn't have a big selection. If they did, I would have grabbed so many other pairs. But yeah, $9.99 for some Levi's. And little boys, you know, they like to rough up their clothes. So <laughs> invest in some jeans and go to Walmart, pay $3.99 for some t-shirts because with those shirts, you're going to be um, changing the child a lot, you know. So you don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes when you know that they're going to outgrow it or they're going to shred it or do whatever they want with it. I also went to the beauty section, which I really like. They had press, um, press on nails, which is very popular right now. They had about three, four different styles. I have um, a, a dip nail. I, have, I get my nails dipped. Um, and I get them really short because I have a child and I do a lot of housework. So I don't like long nails, pointy nails, but they are in style and I love seeing people with them. So if you're in the market for some press on nails and you know, you're know you able to do your do your thing with it, go ahead, go for them. But I um, the, re the reason why I stopped getting long nails is because, okay, I put my son in the car seat. When I come to take him out and I'm, I have to press it, the car seat button, yeah, my nails always bend when I had the press-ons or um, they would break um, if I had pointy acrylic. So I just get them short and simple now. But I did get this um, sponge for $1.99 and I think this will be very good on my face. There's no way you can find this at Walmart for $1.99. If you can, let me know. And um, this one right here, I remember um, I bought a lot of Kiehl's products back in the days i used to buy a lot of kills now i wear different i use different um, creams for my face but i remember kills in nordstrom they had this um sponge right here when you wet it it's hard right now but when you wet it it's very very soft and i remember that was selling it for like 10 20 bucks and now i got it for 99 cents yeah it's a face cleanser so yeah this brought me back to five um, brought me back five years ago and I know about this product it's might not be the same brand but I'm pretty sure it does the same thing and okay so I've been washing my car faithfully every Monday I got a membership so I can stay on top of cleaning out my car because my son eats in it and it's very bad I should clean it more often but once I've been staying consistent with the one once a week every monday i go in i get it detail not detail i wash it myself i go through the drive um drive through wash get it washed and then get out and clean it and it makes me feel so good <laughs> that i have a clean car because my son will stash chicken nuggets or leave his juice box and then sometimes i look in the back seat and i'm like how long has this juice box been in here but anywho yeah i've been cleaning my car in my own they had a lot of different car products um which I was very excited about. I didn't buy a lot of things because I didn't know what to use. Like at the um, car wash where I go, they have um, Windex, they have all purpose cleaner, and they have like the thing where you put your mats through. So um, it's more so vacuuming, wiping the seats down. So I bought this um, leather wipe because my seats aren't, I don't think they're leather. I think there's some kind of pleather seats, I don't know. Um, but I purchased this and it says that it's going to give it a new car set right here. So, and I like that new car set. So I'm excited to use this every Monday and it was $5.99. Yes. So all in total, I ended up spending $37.55. Oh, and I, I, like I said, I went to the store yesterday and I'm doing the vid this video the next day. I also purchased this egg through the drive-thru because my son, he's obsessed with dinosaurs. And I saw um, this egg and it said that it had like five different, five or six different mysterious um, gift ideas inside. So I purchased this for him and it's like, ah, oh, terrible. It's a slime ball. So there's the, he's not done with it. He's playing with it and he left it home because he went to school today. but. Yeah, this is the, I think the dinosaur head and it's inside of a frozen slime. And more slime. Oh yeah, this is just terrible. Should've never bought this, but he loves it. And 
yeah i would recommend dd for kids clothes dds for kids clothes i would recommend it for household essential products that you need i would recommend it for also um bathroom essential products that you, any household uh, products that you need i didn't see anything when it came to um women's clothing that i like um for say i didn't see any i saw some cute little um book bags if you have a little girl and she's in daycare they had like really cute little book bags um that you can pack her little lunch inside of or you can just bring her clothes or have it as a little traveling bag if you don't want to carry those ugly diaper bags so th that was a good idea but i don't have a daughter i have a son um but i didn't see any clothes that i like but like i said they have a lot of cute um a lot of cute other stuff so if you're new to this channel please consider for subscribing i would love to have you guys and thank you for watching also consider sending a comment telling me of what you think i should um, try at dds if i should go back and look at the women's section again or anything just comment let me know what you purchased from there and that you love and just talk to me you know and i'd love to have you as a subscriber thank you again for watching